Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social this side. And in this video, we are going to see about the linked or shared self-hosted IR. So in the last videos, we have seen about the what is integration runtime and what are the types of the integration runtime. And we have also seen about the self-hosted IR in detail. And in the last video, we have done the demo under the self-hosted IR. And in this video, we are going to check about the linked or shared self-hosted IR. So if you haven't watched the previous video, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video for better understanding. So go to the next slide and here, what is the linked self-hosted IR? So we can use the existing self-hosted IR that we have created already that exists in another resources. So for example, we are having a data factory and where we have created the self-hosted IR and we want to utilize that self-hosted IR in the second. So we are having that option by using the linked self-hosted IR. So this way we can reuse the existing infrastructure where self-hosted integration runtime is set up. So what it means? So basically if we are going to create the another self-hosted IR for the ADF2, so it will be replicating the same thing. If we have already created in one place and we can use that in another place, so that is the good one. So this option is already available inside the self-hosted IR ADF. So go to on the browser and we'll see in the practical. So here, if you have remembered in the last video, we have created the self-hosted IR, the last one. So this is, we are under SSU training data factory. So we want to use this self-hosted IR in another data factory. So here we can see the data factories and let me try to open this SSU test. So under this data factory, we want to create this self-hosted IR and we'll be utilizing that we have already created under the SSU training. So here, let me click on this open. Now we can go in the manage and under the manage here we can go inside the IR that is integration runtime. So by default, we can see we are having this auto resolve IR that is available at the runtime when we are creating the SSU test. So we want to create a new IR here, but before creating the new IR, we can go in the existing one. So here, let me click on this. So now here we can see the option for the sharing and the node and the auto update. So let me quickly cover all these. So under the node, we have already discussed about the nodes. If we are going to set the multiple nodes, then that will be high availability option. And in case of the auto update, so we can set the time by which this will be automatically updating. So we can enable and we can disable from here for the auto update option. Let me go in the sharing. So under the sharing, we can see here we are having the resource ID. So we have this value and below this, we can see the grant permission to another data factory. So here we have to provide the permission first for this SSU test. Once we will provide the permission and after that we can create the integration runtime under the SSU test with the same one. So first let me click on this and here it will take little bit time. So here we can see all these data factories. So let me call this with the SSU test. So this one, so we can click and we can add. So it will be going to add there. So now we can see it is loading here and added this data factory. So we have provided the permission here. Now we can copy this resource ID, this value. So let me try to copy and I'll show you where we can use this. Next option, we can see the link. So under the links, we don't have anything right now. Let me click on apply. So once we have done with this change, then we can go in the SSU test and here we can see the integration runtime setup. So we can select the first one that is Azure self-hosted. Click on continue. The last option here can see linked self-hosted. So instead of selecting this self-hosted, it will be going to create the self-hosted IR. But if we are going to get 
this self-hosted from the external resource it means from another data factory so we have to use this linked self-hosted click on continue here we can call this as linked self-hosted IR so it is validating that is good here we can see the type that is self-hosted that is linked and here we have to provide the same resource ID that we have already copied from the existing one now we can click on create so it will be creating the new IR so it is failed to error record let me try it again so this time we can see we are able to save this so let me click on that so this is the resource ID and this is the name under the node we can set the nodes and here we can see the auto update option and we don't see the other options because we are only inheriting this IR from another data factory so go back to here and here let me open this and this is the IR actually so here we can see all these options but we are using this under this so we cannot see more options now in this data factory we can create the new pipeline and under that pipeline we can directly load the data from your SQL Server table that we have already done in the previous video so for the testing purpose you can do the same if you will be facing any issue then you can comment in the comment box I'll try to respond there so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. See you in the next video.